break-ins in a week and a half. That is the reality for Govins Elementary School, where officials say thousands of dollars in cash and electronics were stolen. And now there's a fundraising campaign underway to help the school replace those stolen items. 11 News reporter Kim Dacey joins us live in Govins tonight with more details. Kim? Well, Stan, school police are looking into who is behind these break-ins. In the meantime, there's an effort to raise money to replace those items that were stolen. A new security system was installed Wednesday at Govins Elementary School in North Baltimore. The move comes after school officials say there have been three break ins in the last week and a half. That's crazy. I mean, it's supposed to be a place where your child is supposed to be safe, but it's been broken into, so that doesn't make me feel safe to bring my child here. School officials say the culprits broke in through the front door each time. This new metal strip was just installed, too, for extra security. The crooks stole $7,000 of goods, the cash proceeds from the school's book fair, and several iPads from classrooms. I think it's very ridiculous that they would steal from kids, especially when it's helping them with their education and move on to the next grade and stuff. I think it's very sad that people have to steal from kids. They're elementary kids, and you want to take from some babies? That's sad. It's nothing but to say, what is this world coming to? Will you want to take from children? Parents are outraged that someone would steal what's become an increasingly important educational tool in the classroom. Govins is a Title I school. More than 89% of students qualify for free and reduced meals. There's a lot of kids that don't have access to computers at home, mm -hmm. so the school provides it for them. It means a lot. For the school to be able to provide the iPads for the children, and with them being stolen now, they have to be able to replace all of those. To help the school do that, the Baltimore Curriculum Project has started an online Give Corps campaign to raise money to replace the stolen items. Parents are hoping folks in the community will step up and help their kids. Support your children. They are tomorrow. Without them, we have no future. If you're interested in donating, we've placed a link to the online fund on our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.